Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable or disable the drag and drop feature on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So, pretty straightforward process here guys, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So, there's really no native way to disable drag and drop. However, we can effectively achieve the same result by making a small registry modification that would require an action greater than your screen resolution or to actually drag and drop files. So that's kind of a workaround that we're going to be getting into in today's tutorial. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, check out back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import and then navigate to the file location. So now that that's out of the way, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK current user folder. Do the same thing now for the control panel. So double click on that. And there should be a desktop folder. Just go ahead and left click on that one time. On the right side, you want to locate something that says drag width as well as drag height. So if you want to set it back to default, let's say you want to re-enable drag and drop, you want to double click on both of these registry string values and set it to a numerical value of four, as you see it on my screen. So again, four is the default value in here. Now, if you want to basically, in principle, disable drag and drop, you want to double click on these values and set it to a very large value. I'm just going to say 4,000, for example and I'm going to select OK. And then once that is done, you will need to restart your computer in order for the change to take effect. Okay, so now that we're back in Windows, just for a demonstration, if I were to create a new text document on my desktop here, and I try and drag and drop it, you notice it doesn't let you because we have modified those registry settings. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do a buzz to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.